Hey YouTube Pipe House. <clears throat> so I have discovered the best pipe tobacco in the world. I have. I'm smoking it right now. Are there any guesses as to what it is? I'll give you a hint. You have the same pipe tobacco in your cellar. And it is, whatever you have in your pipe is the best pipe tobacco in the world. So enjoy it. Whether it be an English, aromatic, Virginia, wh whatever, whatever it is, it's the best pipe tobacco in the world. I am smoking some Pelican. It's very good. I would consider it a light English. It's sweet and it has a little pepper to it. It's deep, dark, and rich. A perfect after work smoke when you're finally get home, kick off your shoes. start to relax. The best pipe tobacco in the world. And I'm smoking it in a church warden that I, that I made. Actually, it was a uh, straight stemmed pipe that had uh, had a stem that was bitten through. That's one that I refurbished. And I put a forever stem on it. I really like the briar. It is really light. It is uh, made in France, English finish, 1R, the hood briar. And I picked this one up because it had really good grain. And, uh, I kept it because it smokes really well. It's very light. And the same as whatever I put in it smokes fantastically. So, I want to show you my tobacco plants. I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, let you see them. Hold on one sec. So here they are. I let them all go to flower. So they're not going to get real tall and the leaves aren't going to get super broad. But they have really cool flowers. And they smell really good. These have already lost their flowers and are starting to make their seed pods. them there. These are seed pods ready to harvest. I have three of them growing. As you can see um, I've had some uh, tobacco caterpillars. They call them horned worms I think. But man they can devastate a flower or uh, a plant within within hours. I've had probably about five of them that I've picked off. That's a nice broad leaf there. So this one's an oriental type. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. This one is a Virginia. And I'm not really sure what that one is. Eventually they'll crossbreed because the flowers are flowering right next to each other, so these these pods here will be a, a hybrid I'm pretty sure so 
So there you go. Those are my uh, tobacco plants. <clears throat> I planted them last year, and then uh, wintered them over, and uh, they've they've grown they've grown a lot. The seed pods I'm going to bring with me to the next pipe meet, and I'll pass those out to anybody who wants them. There's, I think, uh, they said like four or five hundred seeds in one pod, so you can you can plant you can plant a lot of uh, tobacco with one seed pod. And I'm gonna have plenty, so I'll bring those along with me. I'll put them in little little dime bags and uh, pass those out next time uh, we get together. Whenever that may be. It's kind of a fun little project, kind of a grow your own kind of thing. At the end of summer I'll harvest these leaves and uh, let them dry. I hang them to let them dry. Louisiana weather is perfect because it's it's always humid, and so they'll uh, they'll dry out pretty well without getting you know too crispy. <clears throat> and I'll smoke them up. All right, guys. With that, I'm gonna finish my pipe. And I'm going to say goodbye. Fair winds and following seas. Until we meet again.